What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, well better than me anyways, I still got a cold so my voice is gonna be slightly off, but today we're taking a look at Dr. Boskanovich in Tekken 3, and we're listening to Command and Conquer music as we're doing so, which is oddly fitting in my opinion, but so this is the first time you got to play as the Mad Doctor, and you've only gotten to play him twice, this game and Tag 2. And where in Tag 2 he actually quite resembles a Tekken character and how he plays, in Tekken 3 it's a complete goddamn clusterfuck. Those of you who've played, tried to play, I'm gonna say tried, not have played, those of you, those of you, those of you who've tried to play this character in this game, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, just trying to stand up, as Geese would say, is a goddamn puzzle. You start the match lying on the ground and you roll, you roll, he doesn't stand up. If you roll forward, he goes into a heart attack. Uh, you know, too old to fight, uh, to say the least. Roll back. Uh, uh. This is basically what, it's look what it looks like the first two hours with Dr. Boskanovich. And I'm gonna tell you all something. When you're lying down, this is a stance where you have a couple of attacks, and this is called uh, Radioactive Barf. Those of you who watched the show Chernobyl, you know how dangerous this is. Uh, that's, that's like holding uh, a piece of graphite in your hand. It's the equivalent of 800 chest x-rays. But it does only free damage, which is not very scientific. This should be death within minutes. Uh, but so you got the barf, and then you got the deadly roll. Uh, uh. And then you roll into this, and hard attack is actually a stance. From the hard attack, we, ha we have attacks we can do. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Um, kip up is a hard attack uh, move. And then... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you, you have to differenti differentiate between heart attack going towards the opponent, and of course going with your back towards the opponent, like this. Then you have the Atomic Blast, the Doctor Atomic Blast. By, by tapping up, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you guys straight away, as I said, he's super awkward to play, and he's completely useless. He, he's completely useless. If he was on a tier list, you'd put all the other characters in any order above him, and then far last, you'd, you'd have Doctor Boskanovich. Um, he's great to troll with, I mean, no one's gonna argue that. He's wonderful to play your friends with and just derp it up, but uh, when it comes to fighting, Jesus. So to get him to stand, you, you have to press 4 when you're lying down. And he'll do a sort of kick, and then he'll stand up into this crouching position. And here, if you tap back, you actually drop down again. Heart attack, and you drop down. But whenever you get a heart attack from standing, and here, you'll get it after pretty much any attack. So the Doctor win God Fist by pressing up for two. Afterwards, I'm not pressing, he just immediately falls to the ground. Heart attack. But so here, quite technical, uh, you actually have to press forward to keep him standing. This does not work on the one he does when he's rolling on the ground into heart attack, where you have to do an attack or drop again. But once you're standing, if you do an attack into heart attack, which is automatic, you press forward to keep standing. And this act actually adds a lot of uh, technicality to the character, I mean, other than pretty much being grounded all the time. Um, so after his Dr. Thunder God Fist, again, you have to tap forward to keep standing. Sidestep 2 is the Kazuya Gut Punch, and you can do that into... That also goes into Heart Attack, but so here, it's it's kind of technical. You do Sidestep 2, Cancel Heart Attack, Upward 1, Cancel Heart Attack. And we, we can actually keep standing up. And he actually has uh, the Dr. Pistons. Uh, but again, if you want something, a follow-up here, again, you have to cancel the heart attack and then do whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just trying to introduce some of the technical elements with the character. Uh, and he has a key charge. Uh, Panic Doctor, I think it's called. 
And here you get another version of a Thunder God Fist that will not launch them. So this is the normal one. Here you can add free kicks for a absurd combo. But of course good luck landing this on anyone as you have to key charge Panic Doctor into it. Uh, he has a standing parry. Uh, oh sorry. We also have a... Uh, a... what's it called? Low parry. Uh, not every character has that in Tekken 3. It's actually very rare, I think. Uh, kangaroo kicks. I'm just gonna show you guys this move. Um, wait, I got the wrong move. Forward for normal free. Uh, normal free. Forward for neutral free. He actually has this move in tag too, and it's so cool. Still completely useless, but but it's the same animation and it's the same input. I kind of like they kept that, considering they removed so much of his other stuff. Um, and we have a Frankensteiner. Forward for neutral four does much less damage than King's version. Uh, running three is done by only doing forward for three. And it's still very strong on block. Plus 17. I don't know if he gets something guaranteed there. A lot. Okay, he drops down again. Oh god. How naive of me to think he would be standing after that. Um, but. Um, yeah, you got a lot of troll shit, basically. I mean, that, that's basically the character. Annoy your opponent as much as possible. Do dumb, do dumb shit. He has a slide. Uh, the classic uh, tripping doctor. And this one, I'm like, wh what the hell? This unblockable here. Will it just kill? Someone please uh, comment on this. Like, is this just guaranteed bullshit? It will kill you no matter what? I mean, it is insanely slow. So maybe you... It's only fair, it kills you. But still, it's pretty brutal. I mean, imagine eating, the, eating this in real life, just being... Permanently electrocuted and now it's above 140 so force law is already dead But his body isn't getting any rest. He's just he just keeps going That's pretty dark if you think about it and look at the finish Now that's overkill um, And of course this which carried over to uh, tag 2 uh, doesn't really in tag two you actually have attacks from that, but here I don't think. Uh, oh shit! I don't think the doctor. No, you have no attacks. All you have is the troll slide, and you keep matching a kick button to slide. That's it. Uh, so yeah. From back turn, he actually has some of Law's moves. You can do some cool combos with the Heart Attack Council. <laughs> the Heart Attack Council. <laughs> oh, I love you, Dr. B. Uh, and something you have to mention, which is incredibly interesting and not a minor detail, is that he has something called True Stance. Uh, where he is, you see his normal stance, he's crouching, and we can also lie down with the character, but in true stance, he's, he stands completely straight, and he has access to Heihachi's entire move list. Yes, he basically becomes Heihachi, but only for one attack. And this is completely useless because it's incredibly hard to enter the true stance. So this is basically how you do it. 
if someone does a low attack on you, I, unfortunately I can't demonstrate it here, I would have wanted to do so, but if someone does a low attack on you, at, on the frame the move hits, your character Dr. B shoots up straight, tap forward right as he does so, and he will enter true stance, and you will have access to Heihachi's entire move list, including his froze, for one attack, and then you go back to Dr. B. Or apparently, you can manually go into back turn, hold back uh, to get his uh, back to shoot up straight, uh, and then access Heihachi. I've not been able to do so. Um, it's supposed to work, but it just seems difficult to say the least. Uh, but that's all I hear regarding true stance, that uh, it is really fucking hard. But it's, an, it's a very interesting detail, but uh, yeah, Boskanovic is uh, complete fucking garbage. Uh, yeah, but uh, the ultimate troll character, uh, he's the god. Uh, and he was a lot of fun to play, but uh, holy hell is it technical to get this character to work. What the fuck? What what the fuck did I just do? King's Ford for two stuns in the back? It gets a huge stun? Oh shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish with my epic combo. Oh no. No! It's kind of technical with the heart attack cancel. Oh, I can't gut punch afterwards, I guess. Let's just leave a good old doctor like that. Um, but uh, a really, re really funny bonus character to have in Tekken 3 considering his uh, relevance in the story. You can see him in his own ending and I think Yoshi's ending as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, clown character. Uh, I know a lot of you miss him, but I, I can't say I miss the character that much. Uh, but I'm gonna wish you all a lovely day. Take care, everyone.